Hey everyone, I'm CC Seashells and today I'm reviewing two mobile games that are similar but different that I love so much. Turbo Fast and Angry Grand Run. These are like race games. One is running, the other is like in a snow cart kind of thing. It's like a go-kart for snow. <laughs> I really think these games are like super cute. Angry Grand Run. That's the first one that I'm going to review. Angry Grand One is so addictive it's it's like so easy to play and so addictive gran apparently she escaped from an angry asylum but throughout the game she's like giggling and running it's like a 70s hippie kind of grand like she's it's, it's so cool you if, if i'm not gonna let you listen to the game just yet but it's very addictive, the, the sound, I had it in my head several hours after playing the game. It's just like, it's so cute. You notice the simplicity of the game. All you have to do is just move the phone from side to side. And that helps move her from side to side in the road. You can't go over the ledge, it's like, it's borders on each side. So you could just like move your phone slightly. That's one thing I was concerned about with this, uh, with the controls. I'm used to race games where you either like click on one side of the phone to go left, click on another side to go right, or the buttons are on the side. I don't really like playing games where I have to like move the phone from side to side because I don't really want people around me to know what I'm doing. It's like you don't want people to know that you're stopping taking like a, a video game break or something like that. So I usually don't go for those type of games, but this one I don't really have to move my phone around so much and there's borders on the side you can't go over the ledge over the ledge so it's simple you just move it slightly and you see granny run you hold your phone like you're texting and you don't turn it to the side it's like you're just you know on your phone doing something and you just send granny running through the block now right here you notice I turn to the left if I would have turned right I play this game over and over after recording this this was like two three days ago that i recorded this i really can't stop i play i play the game so much and i notice if you turn right anyway if you turn right you can see the dinosaur i should have put a recording of the dinosaur in this but yeah you can see the dinosaur and it's like it's it's cool this i really like this game um, D and O, those are the letters that I got throughout the run. You have to, your daily missions are the things you try to, you know, accomplish throughout the day. And you, if you notice the letters were in the sky, and I would jump up and try to catch that. I'll get back to that. These are the grannies that I want to get. I want to get the hippie granny. No, we have the hippie granny. I want to get the, like, Wonder Woman granny. That's the next one. I'm, like, saving up all my coins. I'm trying to collect all the coins I could get. To get that one because I think that would be so cool but right now the hippie granny is enough it's like it's already as cute as it is and I think this is supposed to be in Japan because you know this is sushi rolls and and the sumo wrestlers and <laughs> oh oh and here's where you upgrade and I later on in the game I got to slow time down I wouldn't really recommend that because it, it kind of throws me off when you're like running so fast and then like all of a sudden she slows down tremendously. It just throws me off. And here's where I turn my lean sensitivity all the way up because that way I don't have to move my phone around so much. And it, it works out well for me. It's not all the way up. It's like a little space left, but it's mostly up. And it works out well for me. I don't really have to move my phone around too much. You don't really see them playing the game. And it's really simple. And you notice there's only sound, volume, and that control. It's a really simple, simple game, but I think I think the simplicity of it is what makes it so fun because you could just like start playing at any time, send Granny running down the block, and <laughs> she jump and like uh, slide, and you know she does her thing. And I I I like the soundtrack. I noticed that the soundtrack you can't even download somewhere as ringtones because it's like so cute it's like really adorable and it's so simple and right here you have to try to hit the punk so I remember when I first played I was dodging the punks you want to hit them so that you get like a, 
a higher multiple multiplication in your final score like towards the end when they tally up everything you get a, a higher level that way so it's it's really cool and it's kind of simple and I always mess up with these fish because you got, I I thought you needed to glide under them but you need to go over and this game it's it's fun and it's really simple now on to turbo fast turbo fast is more like what I remember growing up this I didn't even know it was from like a Netflix or a movie and until after I already downloaded I just like the fact that they were snails and like had you know the shells and it was like so cool that you could customize and it said it was a uh, the top race the racer game the top game so I went to test it out this one was 4.3 and the other one's 4.2 and it's more detailed you can touch screen you can use the side to slide and you can use the little buttons on the side you can really get in detail how you want to race this game and then you can upgrade tremendously you can customize tremendously even down to the actual snow it's gonna be like you know a slender and tall like me or like you know whatever it's doesn't matter you could completely customize I like the blues and the, and then the globe in the middle it's like so cool and the main thing is you need to collect tomatoes so that you can do more and more and more I noticed that I usually do most of my tomato collecting with my um, stage one because the stage two sometimes you need to pay to into a race and I don't really want to use up my tomatoes when I'm trying to save them to upgrade so I usually use my lower level my stage one to do all my quick races and collect as many tomatoes as I can and it works out well for me but this game reminds me of um, what I used to play when I was growing up I used to always play Mario Kart Mario Kart was like <laughs> my favorite game yeah, it was my favorite game, I can say that, growing up, and it reminds me of it a lot in several different ways. Right here, the, the goal is to like collect as many, um, like go through as many flags as possible, and I'm trying to collect tomatoes as, like the same as the other game, I recorded this days before I really got into playing it, so I'm not playing as... <laughs> is not the best oh and here's one of the it's one of the main things that I really okay you see again it was the commercials the commercials that's the thing but you can get all the other characters from the I guess the Netflix series I didn't know about this until well after I downloaded the game. I just thought it was adorable, but apparently it came from a... So it might be, you know, popular because it's from a movie or something like that. I don't know, but I just think they're adorable. But I do have to admit one thing in that I edit out quite a bit. The commercials. At first, I didn't know that you can get through the commercials by simply pressing the back button. But, yeah, you can get through the commercials by pressing the back button. Even though I sat there with 15, 18 minutes of watching commercial, all I had to do was just press the back button. But there's quite a bit of commercials. More than... Uh, the other game has commercials, but not as many as this. It's not... Sometimes I didn't even want to customize my snow because I didn't want to have to deal with the commercials. And that's kind of annoying, so... They could like take down the commercials quite a bit and then I'll be happy. I understand the games are free. Yeah, I should be thankful. <laughs> but the commercials make it quite, you know, a bit annoying. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I do have to say about it. But considering the detail and the graphics and everything like that, I, I can deal with little commercials here and there. Um, and then I now that I know that just press the, press the back button, it's easier to customize <laughs> my snow. And I'm more advanced than I am showing in this. I just wanted to get through the basics of the game and kind of review it in itself. Um, oh, and this is where it really reminds me of um, uh, what Mario Kart. I'm racing against uh, a random, this is like a computer opponent. 
But you can also, you can also add your friends on Facebook. And if you have a friend playing a game, you can compete against your friends. And I don't really know how many friends I have played this game on Facebook, but if you have a bunch of friends that are into like the movie and you know and they probably download the game or you can get them to download the game you can play against them and i think that's so cool you can play against people online whereas when i was a kid it was like you just play you hand your friend the controller right next to you and that's how you played against your friend but now you can play against your friend in other states and other countries it's like so cool and I really like how it's like cartoony, so it's like you're in the cartoon. It's really cool, and the graphics, like I said, it's really tip top. This is a little sped up, a little faster than it is. Like you might notice the time is going a little bit faster, but yeah, the graphics are really, really good. This game, it's really good. I really like both. I might keep both, but <laughs> Angry Grand Wins. I just. I always play this game. I catch myself playing it all day. So, yeah, she wins, and I think I want the Wonder Grand. I, I want. I, I I I will play both. I'm sure, but I think I'll keep this game much longer. And that's my review. So, I hope you like it, guys, and I'll talk to you later.